Well, welcome back to the grind. <laughs> Where you join me on Rudger being spotted by fairies. Very cool. Um, let's see what we can do. I'm sure this will go a lot better than the last episode. Uh, because, of course, we do now have the top turret. Very good. And I'm sure absolutely nothing will go wrong in this episode. 100%. is free to come and help me if you can. Pagetto is sitting at the back which is annoying. I can actually overmatch him on the engine deck if I hit it. If we load normal rounds we won't need to uh, be wasting too many credits by doing this either. So shoot this guy. Which is very good. Problem is that there is obviously the uh, the problem with them at the very back of the map. Put one blind in, but. Obviously, the blind didn't connect. Oh, let's see if we can actually uh, shoot this guy's engine deck if he wants to peek around. Uh. See, it's battles like this where you're trying to find the angles, which honestly... What the... Oh, I hit this guy instead. That actually make water tanks fun for me. It's like you're trying to hide your armor as much as you can and find the shell like right into them at the same time that's why I like heavy tanks so much to be fair like these types of battles where you're actually using your armor and making sure you get all the angles correct and whatnot. there we go easy overmatch I'll do it again <laughs> He's not happy. <laughs> but like outplaying people like this, so rewarding. Because you do actually feel like you're outplaying people. But you, I know about the weak spot. I know about the overmatch for this guy. Like, sure, I'm not going to hit it every time, but... I just wish I had a little bit more gun arc. If I had a li little bit more gun arc, I'm going to reload here as well. Um, then uh, I could actually... Go around this corner very, very easily. And I also don't want to block this guy. So I'm going to try and protect him as well. Because I really don't want him to die. See, if they knew what my reload was, we would die here. I'm pretty sure. Can't do anything about this even, mine too. Third one missed. One less. It's interesting. I'm gonna, I need to keep this guy at bay. I need to also kill this guy if I can. 
And then I can push him to use cover for this. And the only thing that can really kill me is the even 90 that's behind me. Which will kill me eventually. Oh, here it comes. Yep. I mean, we held him off for as long as we could. We might win this, I don't know. Uh, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to say anymore. Well, we're now on Mountain Pass. Wonderful. And this T... This LT-432 is not spotting anyone. I don't even know how I bounced that. Can he not... Can he really not spot the others that are crossing? Like they're all in here. Might need to uh, take that shell and then we'll go over to the bridge, I think. There's not much point of us staying here anymore. I don't know what this I don't know what this ELC's doing. That is not really where I would put my ELC. I'm sure he enjoyed himself. We'll go and give that man a servo. I mean, I don't know what he's doing crossing the bridge that late, to be completely honest. That is just asking to be killed. Alright, hopefully we can continue on and get some damage. We'll go for the reload as we cross the bridge. And it doesn't look like there's anyone over the other side. At least not immediately, so... Oh. There is the T-103. This shouldn't be too bad. Because I should be able to go hold down behind this. Be relatively safe. And it doesn't appear that there's anyone up there. Because I'm pretty certain they would have shot me by now. CLC needs to come back. Get one into his track. This isn't good. This is, uh, I would describe this as less than ideal. Yeah, definitely less than ideal. Please win. And it doesn't look like there's anyone over the other side. I do personally like how there was nobody up ahead of me. And then suddenly the entire enemy team was there. I'm extremely tempted, by the way, to just skip this gun entirely and just go straight and get this. Because I really don't want to play the tier 8 anymore. Like, the tier 8 is actually disgusting. I really am not enjoying this tier 8. It is awful. Oh, wow. Really? So, on the, even on the next tank? I don't... I have to grind this because it's not on the tank previous. This is just... It's just... It's just disgusting. Like, these tanks are so bad to play and bad to play against. It's it, honestly a disgrace that they added these into the game. Well, we're now on Siegfried line, and I'm not too sure what I'm meant to do with 230 pen against a 279E. Does any... Never mind! He doesn't use config. Unlucky. Please... 
give us all enough room. And by... Oh, that's an E3. I can't pen him. Even if I had a billion pen. Actually, if I had a billion pen, I could, but... I don't know why this K91PT is wasting his time. Alright, I'm going to cross. Man, what you... Oh my god, please. Just let me cross. I'm pretty certain, even with the safe storage directive, he still could get Amaract. Like, yeah, sure, it limits the chance. But with the FV's gun, I'm pretty certain he gets Amaract either way. Which is why you always run config on 279. Like, always. The Amaract is way too weak. Go forward, so let me get a kill. No, okay. Go for the reload and see if we can shoot anyone else over this way. Shall I make another video on the 279? Maybe I should do a tank review on the 279 in the format that I've been doing recently. Where is this E3 facing? Not at us. I mean, now he is. Okay. Well, I'm really enjoying myself playing against tier 10s. It's almost like plus two is a stupid idea. No, no. Adds variety to the game. Definitely not so that bad players can just feel happy because they can't play against their own tier. shot on anyone. This is really annoying. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? I can't pen it. I can't pen his lower plate. Look at this. Even underneath him, it's Bloody orange. How is this fair? What are you meant to do as a tier 8 in a tier 10 game? Nothing. The tier 10s don't have fun because there's less health. The tier 8s don't have fun because they cannot pen anyone. Well, yeah. It's beyond me that there's still not plus one minus one in this game. I mean, finally, we have a win. The 279 thoroughly enjoyed himself. You know, you'd think after 2,400 games, he would understand that you need config on it, but apparently not. I am very tempted to stream myself going through the rest of this line on YouTube. I think I might do that. Let's say Friday the 11th, because this is going up on Monday. So... That means that on Friday the 11th, I will stream, let's say, 5pm UK time. I'm going to stream on YouTube, and for those of you that can't be there live, don't worry, it'll get, go and get set as a VOD, 
on YouTube afterwards. And we're going to play through from this until the Mino. I don't know how long that's going to take us, but I'm so bored of these. I really am. This entire line from the tier 7 onwards is just the same thing. Every single time, it's the same thing. Relatively slow. Have stupid armor, which you cannot get penned if you fully hold down. And the gun is just derpy and useless. But they're not fun to play. They're not fun to play against. Why were they added? And it's literally the same thing from the tier 7 up to the tier 10. Like they don't have any different play style. At least with other tech tree tanks, they each have like their own kind of play style, right? Let's take the medium tanks, right? You go from the P43 tur, which is nice. You can zip around the map. And then you get the auto reloader at tier 8. And then you get the, pa the uh, standard B, which plays kind of like a, a Leo sniper slash more of a kind of auto reloading kind of tank where you can kind of play mid to long ranges. It's it's fun, right? <laughs> you can actually mess around with it. And then you have the, the Preserve 65, which is can actually go in and bounce some stuff, but can also snipe, right? They each have their own little special category and it's little details that are different. This is just the same thing. It is the sa This is a tier seven Mino. Just has lower alpha and a bit less armor. It is incredibly boring. And like, I like being transparent with you all. And I will tell you when I'm bored of a tank. And I am bored of this line already. I would not recommend you grind this, okay? Do not do it. The 12th episode of this grind season will be the last. And it'll be probably, I don't know, like four hours long. <laughs> However long it takes me to go from this to this. Just in case anyone is wondering, there will be obviously the videos here, which are normal. And then there's the shorts that I'm making at the moment for the different uh, tank reviews. And then to the right of this, it should say live. And it'll be there if you don't catch it live in the VOD where you can watch it all straight the way through or come back to it at different times. So it will be there if you don't catch this live. But yeah, I am I'm thoroughly bored of this tank line. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I've, I've never done this before in any of the grind seasons. But I am bored. So thanks very much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you on the live stream.